Hey, what's up guys? This is Tuesdays with Quinn. And uh, sorry I haven't made a video in about four weeks, but I lost my list of topics somehow. It got deleted in my email, and uh, I've been reaching out to people to get another list, but I haven't heard anything back yet. So, I just tuned into the channel, and I'm doing a video about whatever the uh, subject was last video I watched. So, apparently the subject is about ink and tattoos. Um, if we have any, and how do we feel about transgender tattoos or gender-related tattoos. Let me move this around. I'm trying to get out of that bright sunlight there. Um, yes, I have tattoos. And let's see. My first tattoo, I think, is just a little peace sign on my ankle that someone did with a... Um, they wrapped, like, thread around a pencil and stuck up like a sewing needle in it and just went bam 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 and since I've had it redone but it's still just a simple little black peace sign um, then I got this sun when I was like 18 uh, it's really faded I need to get that turned into something else um, I got also on this arm I got this was kind of a drunken night I met a tattoo artist at a bar, and he's like, hey, for 20 bucks, I'll give you a tattoo. You pick it out of this book. I just, I don't really care for the dragon because it looks kind of dated. It looks kind of 90s, tribalish to me. Uh, maybe one day I'll get it covered up or turned into something else. Um, I also got my testosterone date on me, 6-27-13. Is that what that says? Yes. Um, and this tree here is my tattoo with my wife, or for my wife, I guess I could say. Um, I've always called her my tree girl, and she has green eyes, but she has a, a brown birthmark at the bottom of one, so it looks like a tree trunk, and then the green looks like leaves, so I've always just called her my tree girl. And we have kind of a spiral thing together. Every time we see spirals, you know, it's kind of special to us. Um, I don't know if you can really see the detail there. It's one of my favorites. Um, I have, let's see, do it this way. I have a Smashing Pumpkins tattoo from Siamese Dream. And I have my daughter's initials. Um, Non-biological, but daughter nonetheless, I claim her. She's 16 now, it makes me feel old, but uh, my girlfriend at the time was pregnant with her when I was 18, and the dad didn't want to do anything, so I kind of stuck around and have been a part of her life ever since. Um, let's see. Actually, I remember the story behind this one now. This was kind of, I was breaking up with this girl that I had never met. I just dated her online, uh, and this was kind of like my freedom from whatever I was freeing myself from uh, with that relationship. Um... I've got my Bob Dylan, which is not finished. Um, he still needs some hair, and it's eventually going to wrap around and be a whole arm piece, but it's got his little harmonica there. You can barely see. There's a vague outline of a microphone, um, and he's playing the piano, of course. This is one of the classic pictures of him. Um, but I just need 400 more bucks and I can get it finished. <laughs> that was, I think, 200 just to get that started. Um, also, I have, let's see, I have a koi fish with a sun in the middle of its forehead. Um, I'm a Sublime fan, and I think somewhere along the line, one of their album covers had a koi fish with a sun in the middle of its forehead, and that's where I got that idea. But um, it's turquoise and purple with some water on it. I just have always wanted koi fish. And one of my uh, real good friends drew this for me and has since passed away. So it means even more to me now. Um, this lotus. So weird having to hold your arms at different angles. Sorry about that. Um, this lotus was actually a cover-up. I'll show you the sides there. It's got some lily pads. Um, I had a um, Irish Celtic kind of bracelet, Irish knot bracelet, that's what it's called, there, and uh, you can kind of see it underneath that last little leaf a little bit still, 
but overall it's a really good cover up I love the shading and the coloring on it and the smoke coming from it kind of represents the spirit for me um, and that tattoo represents uh, my liberation from a horrible relationship and moving on to the spiritual awakening that I've had since being with my wife um, I mean I've always been spiritual but this was kind of like liberation that's what that means to me um, let's see I have a, this is a Tibetan Buddhist mantra it's Om Mani Peme Hong and literally it breaks down to Om is you know like Om like when people meditate they say Om it means God or all that is or energy of the universe or however you want to interpret it um, Mane means prayer um, I'm going to try to get this right. Sometimes I don't remember correctly. Uh, Peme is the jewel of the lotus. Or no. Wait. Let me think. Mane is prayer. And uh, I could be wrong with which symbols are which. So I'm just going to say the end of this here means um, the jewel of the lotus which symbolizes kind of a non-physical um, knowledge, a non-material wealth um, that leads kind of to the path of enlightenment. Um, that's my translation of it, and I've found that that's a pretty common translation, although it is in Sanskrit, and I've heard that it, it has no literal translation into English. Um, but I always say I'm half Buddhist, you know, I might claim full Buddhism when I give up eating meat, but I do believe in reincarnation, however, I can't stop eating steak, it's just so good, and I'm horrible, like, I won't kill a bug, you know, I'll save bugs from, like, drowning in water or what have you, but I still will eat, you know, packaged meat, so, guilty of that, um, maybe one day I'll evolve further. Um, this is a devil moon, and my best friend Dustin has the angel moon. They're supposed to hook together and be like a yin-yang, um, but we got them each separate. He got the angel moon, because angel is his, uh, drag name. And, let's see. Is that all I got? Let me look at myself here. Oh. So, I don't know if you can see this. I got a rainbow tattoo around my ankle. Where is it? There you are. I won't go all the way around, but you get the point. And while I'm down here, I'll show you my peace sign. That was my first one. Kind of sucky. Whew. Did you get dizzy? Sorry about that. Um, I love tattoos. I love expressing myself through ink. And I will continue to do so. I do have future plans for my body. Um, I want to get, I don't know where yet, but I want to get um, the song Terrapin Station by the Grateful Dead tattooed on me in images, like the lyrics tattooed on me in a visual form. Um, I'm sure that will be a lengthy and expensive process. Wow, this glare is really bad. Here, how about that? Now you can see me. Hey, how are you? Um, but, yeah, I love the song Terrapin Station. It's a 16-minute Grateful Dead song, and there's nothing like it in the world. If you haven't heard it, please check it out. Listen to the whole thing in its entirety. You'll thank me. It's amazing. Um, right here in this vacant space, I want to get kind of like a melting faucet, like the baby blue and white, maybe a little silver, um, kind of Dolly-esque. Because a friend of mine once told me, you know, don't be hot or cold. Just be the faucet. Just go with the flow. And I've tried to live by that philosophy, as simple and, and silly as it may sound. And I just kind of think it's kind of a cool way to look at things, you know. Just be the faucet. Don't be hot or cold. Don't be angry or sad, you know. Just, just be the faucet. Don't be the, you know, the water flowing through it. Be the vessel. So I kind of dig that idea. And once I get the faucet there, then I'm going to fill this or this half all in with water and stars. Um, 
So that's basically it, I think, for my tattoo plans. Um, I do want to get, um, once my scars heal, I've been toying with the idea of getting a big hawk across my chest to cover my scars, because I love birds of prey, especially hawks. Um, so, I don't know. This is kind of a sensitive area right now, because of my surgery. I'm only three months out on top surgery. I'll show you that. Um, looks pretty good. I went to Dr. Garamoni, and I'm very happy with the results. Um, I am now nine and a half months on testosterone, and three months post-op tomorrow, or in two days. Um, so yeah. And also, my wife and I, just to update you all, are adopting a baby boy. He is due August 2nd, and his name is Tristan. So that's very exciting. We can't wait for that. Uh, so eventually I'll have a tattoo that says Tristan, I'm sure, or some variation thereof. Um, yeah, so if I could please, please ask of someone who either makes videos for this channel or has a list of subjects to please email them to me at quinwithin at gmail.com um, or comment on this video below a link where I can see the subject matter. I would love to start making videos for gender queer gang again. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Peace. Go get some ink.